Now, the crisis in the main opposition, People's Democratic Party, is deepening with the party's acting national chairman, Umar Damagum, vowing not to be pressured into forceful exit by his critics. His response followed a statement credited to leader of the Joel Nation, Chief Edwin Clark, and a former spokesman of the party. That's Kola Ologbodion. The duo had in their separate comments condemned Damagum's handling of the party's affairs in River State amid allegations of anti-party activities leveled against Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Yesom Wike. Clark had accused Damagum of indulging Wike, who is allegedly undermining the PDP, to pave the way for the governing All Progressives Congress's continued stay in office. The elder statesman says despite Wike's alleged anti-party activities, Damagum looked the other way and failed to call him to order. For this development, we now turn to Daboy Kiabo Wamate, national leader of the Concerned PDP League, who is joining us from our Abuja studio. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us here on Newsday. Thank you for having me. Now, let's just start with the basics. What's, what's, since you're, of course, part of the People's Democratic Party, what's the latest regarding this situation about WK and not being called into order and on the whole, the whole lot? Thank you very much. Let me start by, first of all, commending the National Working Committee under the able leadership of Ambassador Uma Ilya Damagu, for stabilizing the party and also conducting a rank of free congresses across 26 states of the Federation. I want to start on that note by commending him. Now, on the issue you have raised concerning the former governor of River State, there is no issue about that. Ambassador Uma Damagu is not looking the other way. Before even Adam Ambassador Uma Damagu came on board, which we all know, that this issue has been on ground. So why is it that they are saying Ambassador Umar Damagu is looking the other way rather than telling, rather than telling people that, yes, this is the true situation? Because before he came on board, there was a chairman. So are they saying that the other chairman looked away? The thing remains that the former governor of River State and president minister of FCT expressed his grievances openly, and he did not hide it. And that is the issue a lot of people are having with him, that he comes openly to do his own thing. Why they do their own thing secretly? So the national chairman has not encouraged anti-party in any way, and is not looking the other side in any way. The acting national chairman is handling the issue the way it ought to be handled. That is all I can say about that for now. Well, maybe in response to some of people's uh opinions that Dam uh, Ambassador Damagum is looking away. Maybe it's not so much that he's looking away, but he doesn't want to be embroiled in what is already a festering situation concerning uh, Minister Wike and his continued anti-party activities. It seems that the legacy individuals within PDP can't even get him to order. So a relative newbie on the scene uh, or within the national uh, chairmanship would not be able to do as much. So that's just in uh, just to clarify, I think, what it is they are saying. But how do we move forward? It is very clear that uh, Governor or Minister Wike has held the party to ransom for some time. What should Ambassador uh, Damagum be doing in order to show that he has a firm control on the leadership of this party and to, you know, discourage other PDP members who want to engage in more anti-party activities. What would you advise him that he can do more of, if anything at all? No, the national chairman is doing all he can to make sure that the members remain together. He has been able to stabilize the party. And just a few weeks ago, a few days ago rather, we saw the ISA disciplinary committee set up and inaugurated and also reconciliation committee and those committees will go in swing into action very soon. So the chairman is doing everything within his powers constitutionally to ensure that there is discipline enshrined in the uh, party. And let me say this, 
I think people are getting it wrong. And a lot of, a few persons have come or go to the media to create wrong impression about the present on WC. Let me tell you something. Kola Logbodio came to your studio or uh, on the media and is making comment, you know, on complimentary comment about the NWC. Ask Kola Logbodio, when he was the National Publicity Secretary, we lost Cross River State. When he was the National Publicity Secretary, the congresses that were conducted were not rank or free. And same person under whose watch this kind of situation happened is coming to accuse those that under their leadership were able to address most of the failures of their own leadership under when he was the National Publicity Secretary. Let me tell you something. Kola Lobodio does not have any political value to come out and accuse the national chairman, the NWC, or even the former minister. Uh, the former governor of River State. Let me say, the likes of Kolo Ologbodio, Ogochi, 50 of the likes of Kolo Ologbodio, 50 of the likes of Ogochire, 50 of the likes of Dele Momodu, 50 of the likes of Joe Mad, the former national uh, legal advisor, joined together. Politically speaking, their value is not worth half of the, uh, what is it called, the present FCT minister's political value in PDP. He has contributed <coughs> more. Ask all of them. They are state, check all of them, they are state. How many people were they able to deliver for the party? Let's not go to um, councillors because they'll say the governors control it because some of them are from states where APC is a, it's an APC control state. But even those of them are from PDP control state, how many of them have been able to produce an assembly member? No. No, they just right. go to media and make noise. But this man produced from state assembly to the governor, he ex national assembly. So, Senate, he only expressed his anger with the way the primaries was conducted, the convention, the, the presidential primaries. That was it. And he didn't do it secretly. And I've said it on several platforms. And that is why we feel that Ambassador Damagu is doing the right thing. Because when Ambassador Damagu came on board, when they had the first stakeholders meeting in Bauchi State, he said something. He said, let bygone be bygone. And when we look at it, today, believe you me, if we are going to penalize our leaders based on anti-party. We are going to penalize no less than or suspend no less than 95% of them. Because most of them did anti-party secretly from 2015 to date. Now, let me pick on someone. For example, in the president, Ogochire, that goes about flapping his mouth, saying that uh, the governor is this, the national chairman is this. Ogochire is a serving chairman of the petroleum subcommittee downstream. It's, an, it's a PDP member, supposedly. Ogochere is from Imo State and not from River State. And Ogochere, let me tell you, one, is a first-timer. Number two, is not from the ruling party. How did he become the chairman of Petroleum Committee if he's not bedding, if he's not dining and whining with APC, if he's not pepsipping with APC, if he's not initializing with APC? How will he become the chairman of a sensitive committee? And such a person that accused him, uh, right. the national chairman of PDP, of anti-party. So these are the things. So most people that don't have political value, the only place they think they can market themselves is come to the media because they have the resources to come to the media. See how he's deceiving the All governor right, of Riverside. Amate. Please excuse me. The governor of Riverside. He's telling the Riverside governor to go to APP. APP, a party that is not a briefcase party. Mr. So that Wamate. is the same kind of people that comes out to the media and criticize. Please, yes, go ahead. Can I hear you? Okay. Uh, you, I believe you've gotten all, that off your chest now. But you did say that if you're going to yeah. um, go ahead with yeah. party discipline, that at about 95% of those in, in the party would would probably, uh, you know, get, get, the, get the... They would need to be disciplined. So, and you also have given kudos yes. to, to Damagum, saying that he's been able to stabilize the party. But in the absence of discipline, very true. How is how has the party have you been able to stabilize the party, especially when there are some reports or concerns that the party might be losing relevance, especially among younger voters? No, see, let me correct that impression. The party is not losing voters from younger, uh, you know, person generation. The party, in fact, the younger generation are yearning. For PDP to come back to power. And when I say the party, the national chairman has stabilized the party, look at if you take retrospect before he came on board, you can imagine the, the issue on ground 
But he came on board and gradually addressed every issue. Talk to people to calm down, make them understand. When uh, they say PDP have internal crisis, uh, uh, internal wrangling, I disagree with them. I say what we have in PDP presently is interest wrangling. Interest wrangling. It's not internal wrangling because we don't have crisis in PDP. PDP is united. PDP is moving forward strongly. And you look at, you can see that in our con uh, congresses we conducted peacefully. We conducted a peaceful congress. It just... You know, one or two states finish. Otherwise, out of 26 states, someone is able to conduct Congress in 20, uh, 26 states and make God pass in 24 states. That person has A+. plus. It should be commended. But when people feel that they have failed to do the right thing and as such has lost out, they go to the media and start castigating, blackmailing the NWC to and twist them. But people like us that have been in the party since 1999 will not allow such to happen. When did people like Ogochi join PDP? 2022, when the people like uh, 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 Dino Melai came back to the party, just uh, uh, 2020, uh, 2017, they left the party. Dino Melai opened his mouth and said, to fear our PDP, to fear our um, PDP, say the Olo Maje PDP, go for BDP, ally Sa PDP. He came back to his vomit and was even contested. Let me shock you. In the history of PDP, no governorship gubernatorial candidate has gotten less than 100,000 votes from Kogi State. But Dino Melai shocked us by getting only 26,000 votes. And he was yelling, give me ticket, give me ticket. They gave him ticket. Only 24, uh, 46,000 votes. In the history of Kogi State, no party, no major party from 1999 to date got that kind of a vote. What a shameful outing. And such a person is coming to claim that the party is dead. It's, 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 it's failure. It's expressing his failure. And thank God to the uh, thank God the Kogi State chapter PDP has responded to him that his failure is what is frustrating him. Otherwise, nobody, a major party like PDP, can you imagine that we get 46,000 votes in Kogi State is against APC, not even up to 100, and such a candidate is coming out to attack his party. It was alleged by Kogi people that the money given to him to for campaign, after begging NWC members, PDP leaders to fund his campaign, they funded it. What did he do? After the campaign, he ran away to, uh, for, to, for vacation with the money, instead of spending it for the campaign. It well, has been alleged by people from Kogi State. And that's why most of them are angry with him. And he came and he's attacking that PDP is dead. He said that in 2015. 2014, went and begged Jonathan. He went, he begged party leaders. Today, he has come back to say PDP is dead after coming back to his vomit. So Allow me to interrupt. It's that we're in a society whereby they glorify. Yes, please, go ahead. Well, you've just made this example very clear of uh, um, uh, Dino Malai coming back to his own vomit and saying some very not so nice things about the party he was a part of and working actively against it. But what is it about PDP that uh, attracts these kinds of characters who beg for the party to give them mandate. Once they get it and they don't get their way, they completely do everything that they can to destroy uh, the reputation and the progress of the party. Because um, it's not only Dino Melaye that is a, a, cor a culprit in this uh, situation. We also have the likes of Minister Wike, who falls very squarely into this uh, uh, description. What is it about the PDP that has their members so aggrieved that even after they leave, they just don't go in silence. They work to uh, destroy the party. I want to thank you very much for that question because it bothers us too. A lot of leaders, of our, some few leaders, will, or few leaders will leave the party instead of quietly, just like you said, leave the party. They will go make uncomplimentary comment about the party. The thing is that PDP is the only democratic party we have in Nigeria today as we speak where every Tom, Dick, canary can come to and be tolerated. So PDP is a democratic party, and that is why it is attractive to Nigerians. And that is why you see people like that come to the party. Because the party is not um, a one, it's not a regional party, it's a national party, number one. It's a democratic party, number two. And it's a party that receives and annex the interests of every member to make it a one interest thing and project it. But it's unfortunate, individual, individuals are different. Some people are so greedy that when they don't get what they want, everything should spoil. And that is the kind of thing we are, we, we, we are preaching against. If you don't get it, Dino Melai has gone to the Senate House of Rep under PDP. He has benefited. If you lost out uh, uh, during the governorship, 
because of your own, you know, you are not popular because of the fact that you are not popular. Whose fault is it? You just wasted the party's ticket. And that is the issue we are calling. We will also use this opportunity to call our leaders, the NWC under Damogu, to say so candidates very well. And make sure that there is a column in the party that when you leave your, when there is a, a, a column in the form that they should sign. But when you lose the election, you just run and leave the party. The next thing you run back. In fact, we, our group, is looking at making a proposal to the NWC that that section that was amended, section 48 or so, that was amended for a member that has decamped to come back if you get a uh, return to the back party or a new member that join the party can contest election within the space of four months. No, we want it to be reverted to the 2012 constitution as it was before. That when you join the party, you must stay 18 months before you can go for an elective office. That is why people like Ogochire can come with her because they don't know right, Mr. The, uh, uh, constitution of the party. So they just come out and talk because they have the privilege or they have to push their interest forward. That is just it. So okay. we want to do that. Because it's unfortunate. People are different. You cannot tell who can do that by their faces All right, until Mr. they Amato, do it, we have before about you can know, two oh, this person is like this. We have about two minutes with you. And I want to go okay. use the, the premise of what you just stated, that you're making a proposal that the section that was amended um, for a member that, was, that has decamped to come back should be reversed. I also would like to ask you, what other specific reforms do you think might be necessary to make PDP a lot more competitive and stable and also successful in the near future in terms of elections and also in terms of um, party disputes, resolving party disputes in about two minutes, please. Oh, thank you very much. You see, our constitution is good so far. We don't need much you know, amendment. And there is, let me also let you know that there's already a constitutional amendment committee that is working on the constitution. So the thing remains that what we are saying with that the PDP is stable, the PDP is strong, and the PDP, God's willing, come 2027, will come bounce back to power because Nigerians are yearning for PDP to come. You know, let me say this. APC in 2015 deceived PDP with lies and with propaganda to come to power. Now they are facing the reality. And that is why we don't want to make that mistake with our national chairman. Because we notice people like Ogochire, people like uh, Dino Melai, people like, um, what is it called, Logbodino, are going to create wrong impression. Not a situation whereby when the chairman leaves, we will not regret, and I know we would have not allowed Amagu to go. Because so now is the best thing that has, is happening to PDP. That is the simple truth. And he's piloting the affairs of the party to the best of his ability, which is we are contented with. Look at it. I still lay emphasis on it. The party is stable. The party is making progress. If you give the party to some of these people that are coming to make noise on media, by now PDP would have nosedived and crashed. And they are, even their principal, some of them, we see how they are being sponsored, like to be specific. And I want to permit me to use this opportunity to advise, I'm from Riverside, to advise my governor, to dissociate himself from people like Ogochiri. Ogochere will make him attract more enemy because he has no political value. He makes noise, but no value to that noise. He's advising the governor wrongly, bringing party that does not exist for the governor to go to. Encourage the party, the governor, by abusing BDP leaders, alleging things that do not exist. I have it. I didn't mean I have it. I would have explained to you five lies that young man came on air to tell Nigerians and party well, yes, we are completely so, no, out of, of time. Lies. Let me just give it to you. Please. Time. No, please, we have no time. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Your contributions have been very, very well noted. Uh, Dabo Ikiabo Wamate, the Concerned PDP League. Thank you so much for joining us on Newsday. Mm -hmm.